So the question was asked, how do you smooth normals essentially from anything that's hardened? I extruded this out just so you have an example of showing you how to smooth normals inside of 3ds Max. Uh, unlike in Maya where you smooth edges, in here you smooth faces. So I want to sl select the faces I want smooth. For example, if I want this line to be smooth right here, I need to select this face along with this face right here. In your graphite tools, if you just open it up, just open it, you'll have a smooth, hard, and smooth 30 on the side over here. I'm going to click on the drop down for smooth and go smooth selected. And now I have that edge and this edge, and now this edge in the middle now are smooth. So if I want these to be smooth together, I'll smooth select both of those, click smooth selected, and now it's smooth. Notice how this is now hardened. That basically means if you want something smooth together, you must select all those faces, go to smooth, smooth selected. I'll smooth all those together. I know it's a bit annoying, but that means if I want this all smooth, if I want this line smooth with the rest of them, I need to select all of these, click smooth, smooth selected. That's one way. The other is letting Max figure it out itself by using a smooth 30. It'll smooth anything that is sharper than the 30 degrees. I also do it by selected. So that means these are all smooth because they're below 30 degrees of a change. Anything more than that, you'll get hard edges. The second way to do this is called smoothing groups. You'll see on the side over here the smoothing groups. Um, I just expanded my toolbar, so it's no longer just one strip, I just made it two. So on the side over here, you have smoothing groups. There's also the other way you do it. Each time you select a face, you'll notice that there's a certain number applied to it. This face is number two, this face is number one. If I select the entire thing and set them all to number one, they'll all be smooth with each other. I can clear all the smoothing groups, that makes them all hard. If I select, them, if I select this face, set this to one, set this to one, set this to one, they'll all be smooth, and set this to one, and now they're smooth with each other. See that? If I want this one to be hard, I'll select that one, turn off one, and it'll be hard compared to the other ones. So as long as the faces match each other's smoothing groups, say for example this one and this one, if I make them both two, they'll be smooth with each other, but hard on these edges. Okay? So it's a bit different than in Maya. You can't just control by edges. It's not so bad. I can clear all and say auto smooth by 30. That means I have to select the whole thing. Auto smooth 30. It'll automatically smooth and set my smoothing groups for me. You can change that to 45, 90, entirely up to you. Alright, I hope that was useful.